welcome back to my channel so today's video will be about relationship no-nos because it seems like today guys don't know how to respect their girlfriends in any way shape or form and they get very surprised when they don't want to be in that relationship anymore so i'm going to say so if any of these topics that I talk about relate to you either you talk it out with your mans or you leave him because I'm 100% sure you can do better than what you have now if he's doing any of this so let's get into it first no no is when your dude is texting or talking to you, his ex or his ex f buddy or his ex whoever that he used to flirt with or tease as if they never stopped talking now i don't know why i did that now if your dude does this i am so sorry because that might put so much anxiety into your relationship and that's so much more stress than you don't even need like you're trying to if you do provide for him and everything then you providing for somebody that's not even going to be thankful enough to acknowledge that is worthy of a breakup. But, you know, it's none of my business. But, other than that, the fact that he talks so much trash about them and then keeps lets them follow him on Instagram, so instead of blocking them, or lets them post stuff and then tag him in it and then you're just like i know you told them that you're in a relationship but why are you continuously letting them post stuff and tag you in things that would probably make her followers believe oh that's her boyfriend like block her tell her off but it just seems as if you're so loving the attention from multiple other females other than your own girlfriend that you just want to get done. Second thing, when your dude brings up his exes. So I'm not saying like he can bring them up, but in my opinion, he can bring them up all he wants, but they can't be about like, oh my god. What we used to do when we were together was this. Oh, we did this. We went here and did this, there, and the other thing. Dude, why are you bringing up all these things and that you used to do with somebody that either cheated on you, made you feel less of yourself, disrespected you and your family, all the other stuff in the world. Like, if you are feeling so strongly about that person, you might as well just go be with that person. Oh my god, and the worst thing is, when they start to cry about it, like, they'll be all happy with you, and then they'll bring up their ex and start talking about all the stuff that they did, and then they'll start crying, and I'm like, why are you, why are you crying? They're probably gonna be like, oh, cause I miss them, my friend once said this too. She was like, her. they were hanging, her and her boyfriend were hanging out, and they were talking about their exes and how much, like, their exes did them wrong, and he starts crying because, I guess, in her words, he was so good to her, he showed her all the love and affection, and then she ruined it, and I'm like, why is your boyfriend talking about how much he loved his ex? Like no that's just <clears throat> anyways I had to blend that out really quick there so she was he was whining because he was talking about how he was so good to her and how she did him so wrong and he wouldn't stop crying about it and she was like well I'm here so that's something, right? He's like, yeah, I guess so, that's something. But I still loved her. And I'm like, dude, 
break up with him, leave him, or tell him, like, you talking about how much you miss your exes is making me extremely uncomfortable, and I don't got time to feel uncomfortable in my own relationship, because it's really weird and annoying, and girl, stop. And the thing is, he, he said that his girlfriend cheated on him with his best friend. And I'm guessing this dude is extremely forgiving because he's still best friends with that dude. And the girl that cheated on him and now is friends dating his best friend is trying to cheat on his best friend with him. And I'm just like, that sounds like an extreme personal problem. I won't get involved in it. I'll put my two cents in it and say, sis, your boyfriend's an idiot. And I think he should learn the values of respect before he learns the values of a relationship because if he can't respect you enough to stop talking about his exes then i don't think he's gonna respect any woman enough to stop talking about his exes because if you're gonna bring up something that you know your new girl's gonna feel extremely uncomfortable about you have zero respect for her that's just my opinion Third one is when your dude has pictures of his exes, any of the ones I just mentioned in the first one, when they have a picture of their exes in their phone, or when they still keep the pictures of them um, posted on his social media. So, my friends boyfriend has a video of him and his ex-girlfriend on his page didn't get any likes didn't it hardly got any likes it got like one comment and it said something like great video but he will never delete it she said she make her join our games when we're playing on xbox or playstation or whatever they were playing on i was like hmm but I still found it very disrespectful because you're being friends with someone that broke you down mentally and emotionally and you still have the audacity to keep them on your page you talk so much trash about them that you have the audacity to keep them on your page. Why are they still on your page? What? You know how to delete people off you. You know how to delete a picture off your page on Instagram. It's easy. The three dots and delete button. Why are she... And it's not like... It's not her. It's her. All people that follow her follow you. They know it's her. And you're she's tagged in it, so... Obviously... You did something wrong, sweetheart. And I was just trying to be nice the entire time. Like, it's very pretty, but you know, keeping that on there pretty much means you're willing to go back to her and you don't want to get rid of it because you know you're going back to her. And if you're willing to get be that disrespectful and keep talking to her, then you can go be with her. I mean... It's not that hard. I miss her. Okay, bye. My mentality, my opinion, you miss an ex. You can be one to me. Anyway. But that's not how I work. I pull 30 day trials on people. I go, I'll talk to you for 30 days. And if you seem like the type of person that I want to be with, then hey. You guess you get it, but if you don't, then guess that trial's up and it's canceled. Sorry, Bill. Because I'm not staying with you any longer than I have to. When your dude keeps in contact with his ex's friend, close friends, and family. And I don't mean friends that are also his friends. I mean friends that are 
only her friends like her girlfriends and her guy friends that hate your guts but you still try to talk to them like oh how is she doing is she cool is she is she, is she healthy and happy how's your new relationship going like why do you care why do you care like there is nothing if you hate them that much if they did bad things to you why do you care so much about how their life is going after you break up you should prosper and not keep setting back and worrying about what your ex is doing because that makes you look thirsty and sad and desperate for attention and the only thing that's going to get you is broken up with so pray anyway you know, that's the thing I really had to say about this one because it's like really stupid on how they make them feel because I'm just like why do you always have to do that why do you always have to say something disrespectful about them but you're talk hitting up their family members like hey Shirley how's such and such doing is she good how is she in school you know she can hit me up anytime if she needs help or what no just no I'm not going to elaborate on which friend's boyfriend did that because it didn't end really well. I mean, I'll like spoil it for you. They broke up because he told, she told him multiple times how that made her feel and he didn't really listen to her that much. Which was really disrespectful. When your dude starts talking to his exes again to get things out of it. So my friend, ex boyfriend, started hit started hitting up sorry. Started hitting up his ex again because he really wanted a car and her grandma had this old broken down car that she had in her driveway that no one wanted it was just sitting there so he went to her house every day after work she flirted with him tried to get with him he apparently said no he didn't do anything with her but yet every time she tried to call him when he was with her he declined her calls he'd say i'm busy but one day, one day, she was on the phone with him before he left work, on his way to her house, and they were just laughing and joking and giggling, and she asked him for a kiss, and he said, no, not right now, I'm on the phone with my girl. Not right now. You could have worded, if you weren't doing anything, you could have worded that like a million times better. Like, no, I have a girl. One, two, I'm on the phone with my girl. Three, stop. No, I'm not into you at all. I just need the car. And then she, um, since he was older than her, like 18, I think, and she was 14. That would be considered illegal but she, so she was like either you talk to me and date me and break up with her or I'm going to call the cops on you and tell them that you did something to me this is why you stop talking to your exes but no he wanted the car so obviously that's what you kind of get I'm not saying that he deserved it I'm just saying that you it a little bit. Like you kind of, you should have just not. And then he told my friend that he has an aunt that could have just bought him a car. Why couldn't you start off with that? And then he got mad because one day the ex texted his stepsister on some. I heard this 
person or pet or whatever died in your family, can I ask how she died? And so I guess the stepsister sent him a screenshot and he was like, oh, that's the girl that threatened to have me arrested. And then she cursed him out. And I'm like, you let your family members follow her and didn't tell any of your family members what she did until after the fact. Your business not mine and it just seemed as if he doesn't really have that much of a brain he's like Pinocchio or the Tin Man or something like he's not very bright don't you know whatever I hope he's in a happier place now probably not probably in jail from all the times that he claims he cannot say no. But when that n can't say no translates to you, well he's 19 now, translates to minors wanting to get with you and you can't say no. So you do whatever they want. And when you stop wanting to do what they want, they try to hold it against you. You should think before you do. And you know, choose not to discuss with minors. Because they're always extremely desperate for whomever and it seems like they don't know how to stop until they find someone new and date them for three days and go back to you you know children things I'm looking for my mirror the next one is when you, I guess you when you tell the dude that you're with how his activities or whatever makes you uncomfortable like everything that I talked about beforehand makes you uncomfortable and he flips it on to you and says you're just insecure I mean call it insecurity but if someone has been cheated on multiple times been in several unhealthy unfaithful relationships and you are showing signs of you maybe be about to do that I wouldn't blame them for being insecure not at all but I guess to make him seem like a better person he says that she's insecure and I just feel as if if he's willing to do all these things and blame it on you, then you really shouldn't be in that type of situation where you're going to constantly feel as if you are the bad guy in every situation that he puts you in. Like, hey, I feel uncomfortable that you're doing all these things and you're not taking my feelings into consideration. You're just insecure. No. Um... I am thinking logically. I have common sense. If I feel as if you're going to do <laughs> that, then I'm going to leave you. And that's that on that. I just started going on a rant. Your dude pulls the, if I did this, if you did the same thing, I wouldn't be mad. Because you're usually a lie. And... Then now you're stuck in this area of, do I do it? Do I not? Do I give me tastes on medicine? Because most of my friends, not most, like, like one or two of my friends that I ask about relationship things from, because I'm not in one, so I don't really know. But I know from what they tell me, I put my standards extremely high. But what they tell me is... Ooh. What they tell me is... If, if your dude is constantly making you feel as if you don't deserve him then you shouldn't be with him. And if he's saying, if you do this, I won't get mad, 
And I have this one friend who takes that to heart. She's like, oh, you won't? Okay. And I'm just like, sis, I think he's lying. He's going to be in his feelings for the next three years because of this, dude. I think he's not. I think he's joking with you. Or like testing you or something but even if he's testing you he can't get mad at you because if you're the type of person that takes whatever he says literally and you do do that then he can't technically get mad because he technically told you to do it and if you're the type of person that like wants him to have a taste of his own medicine yeah you're gonna do it and if he's gonna say he won't get mad then guess what he really should not be getting mad in any way shape or form and I need a darker color than this, but I don't want black. Anyway. So, when my friend was telling me this, I felt as if her boyfriend just, they needed a break. Either they need a break up or a break, but since I've never been in one, I don't really know how that works. Yeah, sue me. But, yeah, I've never been in one, so I wouldn't know how it works. But if I were in that type of relationship, sis, sorry, we're done. Because if I'm going to tell you how I feel exactly and how things that you do make me feel extremely uncomfortable, and you're going to say that you won't feel mad just for me to do it, because I guess I'm gullible or whatever in this, whatever you want to call it, you cannot get mad at me. Don't get mad at me because you told me to do that. Or gave me mixed signals to not do it but to also do it mm. and the worst part is it's always the it's always the I'm a tough guy type dudes that pull these things that also get their feelings hurt the most like the I'm gonna act tough I'm this type of person and then when they get caught doing something cry about it like I'm not saying you're a crybaby I'm just saying that you need to step up your game because if you want to be with somebody you need to be with somebody you need to Prove your worth to somebody. You want to make sure they know that you love them. But if you're constantly going to treat them as if they are something less than you, because maybe you're bored or they are being more productive than you are and focusing on themselves, like school-wise or work-wise, and you don't want to see them succeed in life, so you're just going to break them down a little bit, and then blame all of the infidelity on them, then you don't need to be in a relationship at all. Like, my friend, I want to say her name so badly, but my friend would constantly talk about how she's working and she's trying to be better, and her boyfriend just doesn't want her to like say she wants a house when she gets older she told her boyfriend that she wants a house when she gets older not older but older i guess older he's like mm, i admire your aspiration or enthusiasm or whatever we want to call it but i want to get a house because since i have a job before you and you're working on getting that job or your job is not paying that much. I can do that before you. And we'll get a little house. Like a little cottage. A one bedroom. That's what she's saying that he told her. I don't know where those cottages where we live. And I don't think I want to. My friend. I don't think I want my friend to live. In a cottage. Do people still make. Anyway. So I'm just like. You need to tell him. You want to be in house she said that when she told him he said you want me to feel less of a man 
because you want to have a bigger house than I want. She said, depending on how many kids she wants, she wants a house. And then an extra room just in case there's an accident that she wants to keep, I guess. Whatever. Just her words of mine. So I'm like, so you want like a three bedroom house? She's like, no, I want a four bedroom house. I'm like, hey, that's fine. That's your dream. Great. So she tells him that. He's like, okay, but if you get that house and we don't get the cottage that I want, then you're going to have to clean all that yourself and I'll be the one working. You want her to buy the house she wants, but stop working. So you want her to buy the house that she dreams of having. Stop working. Clean and cook and take care of whatever kids that you make her push out. But she still has to pay the bills, though. Boyfriend of the year. But she said that that's fine. She can do it. But if he just pulls something slick, like talks to another girl, tries to bring another girl into his house, she's going to have all of his clothes burned. All of his belongings on the street. He's going to be kicked out. Because since it is in her name, and he's making her do all this stuff, she would be allowed to kick him out. And I'm like, that's life goal. The last one is when your dude does like the most extreme things to get you to up go back to him like he apologizes he begs you say no after like you're completely done with all this entire list he just did and you want nothing to do with him it's like he'll go to your house talk to your mom he'll post you on his instagram he'll threaten to do things that i should not be talking about on youtube he's just doing too much and you're just like, yo, dude, I told you once, I'm not going to tell you again. I'm done with you. You had your chance. You blew your... You had many chances, I guess, if you forgave him after, like, number three. But, yeah, if you gave him that many chances and he still didn't change, don't go back to him. And then... There's those, some of those girls that are like, I'm going to give him one more chance. And then you're just like, okay, I support your decision. Just for him to do all that stuff again. Because in that little um, time frame between being dumped and asking for you back, he was texting all his exes again saying, I got dumped. And then he was like, I don't want to be with them. So now you gotta start this entire thing over again, because if he really wanted you back, he would have completely blocked off all of those girls, but guess what? He did not. So here's the final look. I just threw on some lashes and lipstick. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and share. And what are your relationship no-nos that you, that I didn't talk about in this video? Put that in the comments below. And yeah, since I didn't post, um last week I will try to post to this week and if I can't then I don't know actually scratch that I'll be making another video later this week on maybe later but I'll be wearing something completely different and it will be of my favorite makeup brands and such so yeah thank you guys for watching and bye